What should I do today? I know! To the build cave! What should I build today? All these options, what should I do? <gasps> I know. To the building grounds. So we've hit 600 subscribers. Thank you all so much for doing that. And I decided for the 600 subscriber special, what better way to celebrate than building my first ever build in Minecraft. Now, the first thing I ever built was back in like 2012, 2013 was the first thing I ever built, and it was Minecraft Pocket Edition, so. in more, more, more to that. Now back then I did not know anything about Minecraft, and now I know a lot about Minecraft, and like how, it, how old it is, all the blocks and what they do. So, I'm gonna grab the materials on what I used. It's going to look very stupid, but I was very scared of zombies back then, so let me grab the stuff. So I got the materials to build it. I could not get the phone to work, the phone that I used to build the the build. But I got this. I got old memories of it. So what I did is, I remember placing it to four. And I just remember the door being in the center. Like it was cool. Now this is where my building skills were not good back then. I made glass go all the way around so I could see the zombies coming and I just did this kind of a roof now the glass and bricks nowadays do not look like a thing like they were back when I played so this is what my house looked like and I I thought I was cool back then by putting by making everything out of bricks so I had a brick floor a bed here I had the furnace turn like this so it could warm my feet when I cook stuff. And I think my craft table was right there and the door was like this. This is how it used to look. Now this is not it. There was a lot more to this. So zombies would come and I thought they could break down doors and this is very claustrophobic. So what I did is I came out two and I dug a two deep all the way around my house just like this because i figured zombies can't go over two because they're not tall enough now when i i'm trying to fill this in because this wasn't the best area to build it in but it matched the area so perfectly from when i did it so i dug it down two like this all the way around my house now on the back side, I went like right next to it because I thought, eh, I'm not gonna go back there. I'm not gonna really need to do that. But unfortunately when digging, I left one block. And that one block would eventually haunt me. So I carried out my time doing that digging. Now I did accidentally fall in it several, several times. And the trench was complete around my house. I figured I could jump over it and the zombies can't get in. So zombies came and they would fall in the trench and I would just whack them like this with my sword. Or whatever it was back then. Now, somehow I forgot about this one block. A zombie went over here and I left it alone. Turns out it actually went all the way around from the front, jumped up this, and met me over here. I punched it off and it got to here and fell back in the trench. I came over here looking, found out there was a block over there. So then I figured, okay, I advanced in my world. So I started putting cobblestone all the way down along the trench to hopefully scare zombies away. Yeah, I wasn't the brightest back then when it came to building in Minecraft. So if I kept on going like this and just put cobblestone everywhere if the water would stop pushing me and I thought I was the coolest person because I had my whole entire base surrounded in cobblestone now I don't remember what I did after that I remember there was an issue with uh man, I don't remember what it was 
it's just been so long since I've actually played. Actually, it's been so long since I've actually remembered what my first build was. I can remember these little bits of being so of actually playing because of how cool it was. Now, after I got done playing with it, I don't think I ever revisited the world. I think I just stayed to watching Minecraft's videos. Now, this is actually a great. This is really, really. This looks a lot like my base. Oh, I forgot the torches. You're gonna love the torches when I show you how I placed them. So what I do with torches was I put one here, I put one here, I put one here. Oh, I should probably put cobblestone down. I put one over here. I put one. Uh, yeah, I did put them down there. I put them down below, just like this. Thinking that if they're close to the ground, it won't get me. I put one up here and over here right here right here inside the base I put one here and here then over here I put a couple more just like this still putting them down I put some I put them just like this thinking this oh this is how you light I kept putting them everywhere I put them like this I put them along like this back then you couldn't put torches on trees you I put them like this and like this and my base could be seen from space because of how much I lit it up so there we go just like this I used a lot of resources on my house Oh yeah, I forgot I, I did do this. I completely made my base. See Okay, did I put on okay. You could not put you could not put torches on glass back then either, just to give you a heads up. I put them on my ceiling so no zombies can spawn in a I thought if I didn't have one if I left one little spot like this, zombies could spawn. So this is pretty much how my house was. Until I later found out that a tree that I had that was placed right around here in my front yard Like it was more like right here. I did not know that the land next to it. That's why I wanted to pick this area right here I didn't know the land next to it was high enough That the zombies could get on the tree. It wasn't like they didn't like they didn't have to jump like as you can see here I made it so they so it would look like they could so they could get up here and they could simply just walk over into my base Later, I chop down the tree, but this is Meet the masterpiece my base back in 2012 2013 I I don't really I don't remember what exact year it was. I just know it was What was it? It was summertime. I know that and my dad got it. So this is pretty much it. Oh Yeah I did also think that I would have to lie on my trench with torches too. My gosh, I was really not thinking back then. So I just, I would say, I was probably the one that used the most torches back then, ever. Because it was a creative world, I played on it several times, and number one item I always used was torches. I would just run around my world just like this, placing as many torches as I could. So nothing would spawn. Now, nowadays, I don't build stuff like this. This one, this since this is a 600 subscribers, you can see where I came from. And I could probably transform my builds. I might transform it like for a 700 subscriber special or just something different. But this right here is my first ever build. Now, I went from doing builds like this to this so pretty much I've actually came a very very long way as you can see I've I've learned how to make stuff look cooler design stuff better I still open chests for some reason when they're empty fun there we go I built that I've come a pretty a pretty good ways and then I've also built secret houses like this back in Halloween days super cool shuts the door 
This one lights the eyes up and stuff. So this is pretty much looking back where I did. And then my my first house, my first build on ever in Minecraft. And then my first build ever in this world. Well, technically it was a restoring video. The pirate ship, which I don't think came out too bad. If you would call the pirate ship not a build video, then it would definitely be, um, and which one would it be? It wouldn't be the one chunk base. Oh my gosh, where is that thing? I know I built it. I don't know where it is. Oh my gosh, I will find it. Okay, I've, I, okay. I built stuff too. I can't, I think I found it. Uh, yep, found it. This is my actual first build in this world. A full-on nuke-proof shelter is my first proper build. And I haven't come down here in a long time. After I built this build, I haven't come down here or even thought about this place. Till just now. Man, how time flies. Then you get the mines, and then... Oops, let me grab back. You get the mines, which I don't know why that door is open. I'm just gonna leave because I can fly. Just running and running. Oh yeah, the why is the wash station on? I don't know why the wash station on. It's kind of creepy, but hopefully no one's in the world. And then the escape route is there. It is. You step here, and then you jump. Now I'm at the garage, where I, the first place I ever did a stop motion with Minecraft thumbnails. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe if you guys did enjoy. Make sure to subscribe and help us hit 700 subscribers. My original goal for the year was a thousand subscribers by the end of the year, but I think it's not going to happen. It's going to take one heck of a miracle to do 300, actually 400 subscribers in one month. Where my best month was like. 80, I'm like 92, I think was my best month. That was like summertime. So I hope you guys enjoy. Share the video anybody you might know. And I'll hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye.